Hi everyone, Sandra here at Homesteading Ways, and today I'm going to show you how to dry fresh ginger. It tastes fabulous, and it's also more economical than buying it already dried. You can get this at any health food store, or most grocery stores carry it now too, and it's fairly inexpensive. As you can see, as I'm peeling it here, I'm only using a spoon, as it's pretty thin-skinned here. The little weird pieces, you may want to cut those off. It makes it a little easier for you. Ginger is great for a uh, sick stomach. A lot of people will eat candied ginger or sugar ginger when they're feeling nauseous. But it's great in cooking and baking, and it makes a fabulous tea. Anytime your, your tummy is upset, or you have indigestion, or actually if you feel the cold or flu coming on, ginger is a wonderful tea to take for that. It's one of the warming spices, so it's great in the winter. Like cinnamon and cayenne, these kinds of spices warm you from the inside. It's gonna take me a little while to peel this, so I'll get back to you when I'm all finished. Okay, I finished peeling everything. I washed it down a little bit, and here's what you got. Fresh ginger, and it smells wonderful. You're going to love this. If you have little pieces of skin still on there, you can pull them off if you like, but it's really not that big of a deal. Also, if there's any kind of holes or, or dings on it, you can cut it out like you would a potato. But overall, it's not a big deal. Just get the bad spots off and get to slicing. Now, normally... I use a mandolin, but I borrowed that out to a friend last week, and it hasn't returned, so I'm going to just use my knife. I normally don't use a knife because I'm not good at slicing uniform pieces, but here's the first one I tried. I'm going to try and do it anyhow. You want to slice it as thin as you can. It doesn't have to be paper thin, but the thinner it is, the quicker it'll dry out. And you want the slices similar in thickness because you really don't want one drying a lot faster than the others. It just makes it easier if they're all the same length and width. I'll finish this up and then we'll get it drying. Well, it's been about three and a half hours and the ginger's almost done. Most of it, the thin stuff, is completely dried out, but there are a few pieces that are thicker and still wet on the inside. Those I'm going to continue to dry until they're, they're completely dry. And when you need to use your ginger, if you're making a tea, just take however many pieces you want, cover it with boiling water and let it steep five to ten minutes. If you need ginger fresh for a recipe take however many pieces you like cover with hot water don't use a lot of water just cover it and steep that for 10 to 20 minutes until it's rehydrated and then just chop it up and use like you would fresh if you need ginger for dried for a dry recipe just chop it up however much you need well i hope this helped it's always great to have ginger on hand and we'll be talking to you soon take care